saucy Thursday. Been here in full bloom and it's mid June. Sadly, no common riding again this year. So, suitors everywhere are thinking about the town, and I thought I'd call a few of them to see what their thoughts and uh, emotions are about the common riding. And first of all, what their favourite common riding songs are. I, 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 I had this kind of tradition for a wee while where I looked around and and Colin, you know, Colin Kemp would say, right, John, that's it now, six o'clock, six o'clock. And just before a barn, I would turn around to the standard bearer and, yeah, you ready? Because this is where it starts, you know? There's no going back now. You're standing in the square waiting for the crying of the barley and, and you hear that drum and you think, yes, it's arrived. <laughs> It's like as soon as you hear it, it still resonates in your chest. It's 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 and it always still startles you. Not startles you as in it, oh what was that? But it was like okay, we're good to go now. And the first drum, I love that. And then yeah, hanging and, and you're away. The hail smile and mourn is always uh, always a big favourite. Um, just remembering days walking down past the the sheriff's court with the. Uh, with my hand in Grandpa's hand and him belting it out, um, that always always brings a smile back to my face. Uh, my favourite come around song is Hail Smile and Morn. Hail Smile and Morn. Well, I think Hail Smile and Morn is one because that was my dad's favourite. So obviously that common riding for my dad was just and, and 1989 when he was colonial standard bearer, that was the, you know the absolute highlight of his life, and that includes the birth of his children or marrying my mum. So being the colonial standard bearer was, was above all that. <laughs> well, I'd have to say the roses, uh, but when you and I were young, Maggie, is a very close second. The roses was always my favourite coming on, so. Yeah. Maybe because, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think Jack Harper wrote the words, didn't he? So my favourite, uh, I would say, the roses does something for thinking of people coming home and I would say Old Sail Cartoon, love it. The flows of the forest is just the, uh, that coming up through the toll and then into marketplace for the casting. I do like coming up from the toll from Stirling Break into Floors of the Forest. One of my favourite marches to do just with all the flags behind you coming in and seeing all the people around that platform, it's, it's brilliant. Mine would be the Floors of the Forest. The music's more what gets me more than the words. I mean, That's the words like... are brilliant, but the uh, but that music just gets you going. I remember marching in there, holding that flag there in 2010, and honest, uh, I felt like it must be the same kind of feeling that went through like King Charles the First's <laughs> mind when he was walking up to get his head lopped off. Him. It has to be the floors of the forest that we play at the War Memorial first thing in the morning for the ex-soldiers. The Flowers of Forest, as we come up from, you know, we start at the Bowling Green and we're, we're fairly subdued, just kind of playing along. The closer we get to the marketplace, the more exuberant, the more energetic it becomes. And so that by the time you're coming past onto the A7, you know, at the bottom of Tower Street, you know, you're really starting to go for it. And by the time you get up to the, the, the Kirk wind, then you're, you know, you're, it's almost, it's almost, but not quite, the fleece corner the next day. That's that's kind of one of the things when you're um, walking down to the toll and you just before the, the, the memorial and you're in that tight little space with the high walls, bouncing right back off the walls. It's your, you feel so confined and the music is so intense at that point. Best place for acoustics is when you're heading to the toll and you're going down the road past the fleece. It would have to be her bright smile outside the county when all the colonials stand outside the county at six o'clock. I think mine is her bright smile and the roses. We can't, can't pick one. Well, you know, the, the song that always uh, comes to mind is I Wander Today to the Hills, Maggie. And a lot of that is to do with my mum, uh, memories of my mum, and that was one of her favourite songs, and she used to sing that quite a bit in the house, so that would be my favourite. 
I've thought long and hard about this because I, I like them all, obviously, and everyone's got a special uh, place in my heart. But um, if I was really, really pushed, as you are pushing me now, the boys of the old brigade. Uh, above all the songs that are sung at the common riding, that seems to be the one that evokes the deepest kind of memory for me. Uh, it's, a, it's the anticipation of uh, seeing the horses come galloping in at the toll. It's the last little little stretch of, of road until you, until you get there for Charlie's Bray down to the toll. And, and uh, it's just such a good tune. Being the, the, the colonial, I think uh, one of my favourites has to be the boys of the old brigade and having um, Martin Young stand up there in Belta was was unbelievable. What's your favourite coming riding song, Keith? Um, I like the very first right for the Queen's Heat when we start off with uh, Hail Smile and Morn. But my favourite tune is quite unusual. It's when you start the march up from the riverside when they play the trooper and I really like that. They used to play Blue Bonnets and I used to love that. My favourite common riding song, it goes right back to when I was in primary school and the standard fair used to come round and uh, you know we would all sing Oh the Earps, that, that was probably one of my favourites. And of course I love the loyalty. Yeah, could cry just thinking about it. They're lilting. I think the casting is uh, a key moment for me. Uh, just, you know, the folk up there casting and also just the, the wee bit uh, with the lilting gets me every time, even thinking about it. The end of the casting, I get, I get quite, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favourite one that I, I love is the soft lowland tongue of the board. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I've, I've heard some worthies, they say, oh, that's a hike song, but it's not a hike song at all. I mean, oh, Charlie Brody sang that for years throughout the 60s. I remember that because we used to love his big, deep, gravelly kind of voice there. And we, as kids, we used to get a clout on the ear for snickering at him when he would stand up singing that. They were just part of the songs that I heard from the year dot and I never felt that I actually learned them. What do I miss most about the common riding? Well absolutely not being there with friends and family and following the traditions for sure yeah. Oh the, the thing that I love most about going back okay it's getting back into Selkirk but it's seeing friends. You know you beat more people during the common riding than you could any other time of the year and you just pick up where you left off. I miss seeing people that I haven't seen for a long time. I've been away for 34 years, but when I go back to Celtic, I go home. I just miss seeing everyone and, and, and you know, everything that, everything that is the common ride and is, is Celtic for me, so. Yeah, I don't know a lot of young folk. I know a lot of older folk. <laughs> I remember as a kid getting mum getting me sort of dressed up to march down the toll. What's not to love about it? For the last five years, I've Facebook has, has filmed it. So I've sat here on the Friday night, my time, and watched the common ride. And people would say, Do you want to come out? No, no, I'm watching the common ride. So we got a tattoo of Fletcher on our arms. To, you know, to signify our suitorness and friendship. So I, I, I don't actually think they did a great job, but yeah, it's... Uh... And for as long as I can remember, Dot has sent me a rosette for the common riding. And after the common riding, she's posted on the wee paper in the Southern Reporter for me with all the photos. I must have been one, or just turning one, because I was born in the end of June, 1969, so it will have been 1970. 
In fact, there's a there's a picture of me sitting on the common uh, the um, Stander Bear's horse with a little bonnet and a white dress. <laughs> Faulkner Greaves was the Stander Bearer, and I was I was um, sitting on his horse with him. And the great thing then, of course, was that the horses came up into the into the marketplace. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's when people got the chance to sit on them. People recognise me in the street, which is one of the, the greatest things about Selkirk. It's going to be weird again to miss it because it's something that you just do every year, isn't it? I feel very homesick um, because I love the common riding. Uh, I feel very far away from home, but with modern technology, of course, it's been absolutely fantastic to be able to watch it. Um, when I was riding, it was obviously the ride out. I mean, you can't, once you've ridden it, you can't beat it. The only thing you missed to that was the singing. Over the years, unfortunately, I've missed a few common ridings because I've been out of the country. But wherever I've been, the, the Arctic, South America, Africa, I've always done the same thing. I've made sure I was awake at the right time when things were happening in Celtic. I've woken up, that put my headphones on and listened to the common riding music. That was the other thing I used to find exciting when I wasn't riding the marches was being at the toll and you know, you were watching up the hill to see who could see the standard bearer and all the, the cavalcade coming. What, oh, there they are, there they are, they're coming. And then you had to wait ages. And uh, you know, then the gritter would come through and everybody would cheer for the gritter. And that's, you know, the noise of, uh... You know, just the, the horses' hooves on the road uh, is a great memory. There's nothing else like it anywhere else. And not many people would say this, but one of the most emotional moments for me at the common riding is actually the, the coming in of the burley at the toll, because for many, many years, I would stand there with my grandpa and granny and we'd be looking out for our mother coming in on her horse, Bruce. Uh, so I find that... An, an emotional moment because, well, obviously since 1974, that horse and rider will, you know, will never come in again. Maybe you did as well. Stand on the on the road and wait for the first shows to come down the Hoy Road. When I got to a certain age, maybe when I went to university, the common riding was one of those things that was always in the back of your mind, but it wasn't a thing that you'd be um rushing home to see because you thought you were uh, quote unquote too cool for the common riding maybe but as the years have gone on it's, and you see the hard work that goes into it and you see the effort from all the times people and every single piece of hard work that goes into it to make the day happen the appreciation for all the other things that go on round about not just the day the weeks leading up to it, the 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 the, the meals you go to, the the bus ends, all of those things. And another part I love is when you go down the green and you see all the flags going down into Mill Street and the horses all come in the procession and the sun just always seems to glint through the clouds and catches it and it's beautiful. It must, it must be strange for exiles, uh, so I suppose we're a bit like them. It should be common riding and we've not got it, so I suppose we'll feel a bit like they do. The next time the common riding happens, you know, I mean, it's just going to be glorious. It's going to be fantastic. It's a strange, strange feeling, no having a common ride. So here's to seeing you all next year on June the 11th in Selkirk. We'll have a great time. Oh. There's a few bits of the conversations didn't they quite fit in with the, the mood of the piece here, so I thought you might like to catch up with them now. So you can walk, walk the marches, I suppose. <laughs> no, no bother. <laughs> <laughs> Although a lot of folk will, I have no doubt. A lot. What's happened? I don't know. It says this meeting is being recorded. Can you see me? Yes, can you see me? 
Uh, no, I got a blank screen. Oh, I'm sitting here looking over Selkirk. Um, hold on, stop video, mute. I'll stop. Okay, wait. Oh, there, there I am. Okay, I got you. It was me. <laughs> of course, at the last uh, common ride in 2019, on the way up to the river, you thought you'd have a wee go carrying the Merchant Company flag. So you gave your drum to somebody to carry for you, but that didn't quite go according to plan, did it? <laughs> Well, the guy that offered to carry it for me went away to the back of the procession. <laughs> and I thought he was going to be alongside the band, you know, but no, no, he joined the bottom of the merchant company procession. And so therefore I had to run down to him, get the drum and then run up the green and the band were all standing there waiting for me. Come on. Right. The, other, the other thing you never quite get used to is if you're between the borough band and the pipe band going down to the toe, <laughs> you get a, a bit of each of them coming drifting through. And trying right, to... your, ear, your ears don't know which one to tune into. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing absolutely great, uh, except my hair looks like Boris Johnson. I, I'm not very proud of that. <laughs> a couple of years that have just fallen through. Uh, obviously, last year was uh, covid Sorry, my son is just climbing on my back. So, uh, I guess I'm trying to talk. <laughs> so, as you can see, the peony roses are in full bloom. It's coming right in time. But sadly, it's not going to happen this year. You never know what's going to happen in a back garden in Bristol, do you? Sit back and enjoy. It's just, it's just same, exactly the same thing here. You know, they're all lined up at the government beer and wine store, which hasn't been closed because it's essential. And I mean, we'll tell people at the bar here that you can't get in unless you got your shot. I mean, it would, we'd have everybody vaccinated in in a matter of days. 